Welcome to a new series I'll be doing on this channel called JJ Rix's Rail Fanning Tips and Tricks. In this episode, I'll be covering how to track trains using just your phone. When you're out on the road, it can be a bit tricky to find trains, especially if you're short on time. So I use a service called Trainmon 5, which allows me to see a live map of trains in my area on any device that has a web browser. There's even an Android app, but it also works on iPhones in Safari. Trainmon 5 is sort of like the new modern companion to ATCS Monitor, which is more versatile features wise, but only runs on Windows. When they go out in the field, a lot of people I know resort to leaving their computer on at home with ATCS monitor open, then connecting to their computer with their phone just to see the traffic. Trainmon 5 cuts out the middleman and lets you monitor trains directly on your phone or computer with almost no prior setup or technical skill required, which is really a lifesaver when you just want to get the job done. To get started with Trainmon 5, apply for membership at the ATCS monitor group or the Trainmon 5 website. Make sure to follow all the instructions carefully to have the best chance of being accepted. Once in, you can check if your local tracks are covered by Trainmon 5. Layouts are sorted by railroad, division, then subdivision. If you don't know your division or subdivision, there's a handy website provided by the Federal Railroad Administration that will help you find them just based on location. Zoom in to your area, then click on a railroad crossing to get some more information. From here we can see the crossing ID, which can be found on these blue signs, plus the railroad division, subdivision, and milepost, which can really help you get your bearings out in the field. If your area isn't covered by Trainmon 5, but is covered by ATCS Monitor, let me know in the comments and I'll help you convert the layout. If there's no layout available for your area anywhere, chances are the railroad isn't using ATCS to keep track of their trains, and you might have to rely on scanners. If you live next to a CSX line, you're in luck. There's no ATCS, but there's something just as good. Leave a comment and I'll tell you about it. So after we've done all this, how do we get the train map working on a phone? First, download and install the app from the Trainmon 5 group. It's not on the Google Play Store since it's only available to members. Then, download your layout of choice from Trainmon5.com and import it into the app. And that's just about all. You now have a fully working live map of trains in your area. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and I'll see you in the next episode.